What's up guys? It is Dallas Gordon here and I wanted to come in and record a video for you guys um, about more specifics about being able to share your Canva PDF across all social media channels. You can share it wherever you want to. There are no real limits um, of where you can share it. This video is going to show you how you can turn the PDF into a link um, and provide that link across your platform so that you can actually share um, this information so that people can get your your downloads I do have a couple of videos out there before I get started guys I have a few videos out there already that is going to teach you how to actually add links inside of Canva and then create a PDF um, I have videos for that I'll be sure to link those videos somewhere if you don't know how to do that you can check those out and just to kind of answer one of the questions I've been getting as well you should be able to add links to a PDF with a free and paid account the last time I tested this guys I was able to do that if you're not able to do that the first thing that you want to do to troubleshoot that is to double check your links make sure they're added preview your document inside of canva just to make sure that it's working on your end because sometimes we do forget to add links it happens to me quite often guys and i have to go back and check behind myself but if it's not working at all there may be something going on with your canva account maybe a glitch you can try giving canva a shout and sending an email to their support or something like that but for me guys it's working free or paid okay so the first thing that you're going to do is if you don't know how to add links to your canva document and how to create a pdf you're going to go to that video that i already recorded you're going to you know create your canva document add all of your colors and words you are going to actually add the links to make your pdf clickable whatever you guys need to do you're going to do that and then you're going to save your document inside of canva as a pdf document okay so from there guys now we want to be able to take that document and turn it into a link so that you can share that document wherever you want to share it on social media whether you want to share it on your Facebook page whether which is one of the most common ones I get or you want to add it to your link tree and you want to provide this document for your followers or whatever you want to do with it even if you want to send it out by email now you have this link that you now can share out on different platforms so the first thing that we're gonna do guys is go to Google just like you see that I have here you are gonna type in Google Drive now if you do not have a Gmail account I would suggest that you create one when you create a Google account it's gonna give you access to many of the different tools that Google offers for completely free and you're not gonna be having to be prompted to sign up and all this other stuff once you're logged into your Gmail account it'll be easy for you to access the many tools that Google has available for your business so you're gonna type Google Drive into the search just like I have guys and then you're going to click so that we can go into Google Drive. So basically what Google Drive is, it is a way that you can actually save documents, videos, files inside of the cloud. So no matter where you go in the world when you log in, when you come online and you log into your Gmail account, guys, you'll be able to access your documents all across the internet as well as save these documents and this is really going to save you some space on your computer and allow you to access your documents from inside of the cloud so the Google Drive is private to you the only way that other people will be able to see your documents guys is if you give other people access to those documents and I'm going to show you exactly how you can upload your document right here on Google Drive and share a link so that wherever you share it, the people who you share the link with will be able to download your document and it will have all of your links and all that kind of stuff that you added in Canva inside of your document. So when you're inside of Drive, guys, you're going to click this plus button over here on the left that says new. You're going to click new and then you're going to do a file upload. So I'm just going to upload something let me see I'm just gonna find something so I'm going to type in PDF so I can make sure I'm also getting a PDF first I'm gonna upload a journal cover that was designed some time ago and I'm gonna add that to my Google Drive so right now you can see at the bottom left it's quickly uploading my item um, and here's the check mark so I'm just going to click on that so that I can view my upload and you want to make sure that you name your document accordingly guys that way there won't be any confusion with finding your document inside of your drive 
Okay guys, so this is just the interior of a journal that I sell. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this document into a link or I'm going to add a link to this document so that I can share this document anywhere um, with anyone that I choose to share it with. So the first thing you're gonna do guys is go up to the three dots at the top right. You're gonna click on those and you're gonna go down to the first option which is share. So you have two options here that Google Drive is giving you. The first option is to share with people in groups. So if you type in email addresses here, you can make this document available to only the people that you specify here. The second way to share, which is the way we're talking about today, is here at the bottom. You're going to get a link to share. So let's go down here to the bottom. You're going to change it to anyone on the internet with this link can view. So I'm just going to show you how it's going to look at first. It's going to be restricted when you first come to the page. That's automatically selected, okay? You're going to want to open this up by clicking, I want to share it with anyone with the link, okay? Um, so just keep that on viewer. And then from there, you'll be able to copy your link and you're going to click done. So from there, you've opened your document up for sharing. Anyone that you share that link with will now have access to the document. Um, the link is rather long. I've already pasted it here. So if you want to shorten it, of course, you can use Bitly or any other link shorteners that are out there. You can feel free to use them. So if we take this link, guys, and we paste it into a browser, here's what's going to happen. Hopefully it won't because it's my own document. Um, it probably will just take me straight here because it's my own document. But it's basically going to allow people to hit this download button and be able to download this document to their computer. So one thing I do want to say, guys, is just make sure that you check your links, okay? Um, maybe try it from your mobile phone or from another device and make sure that this works because sometimes I notice when I open up my document for sharing, there are times that it does not stick, it does not stay and save. So then people are like, I can't access the document, I need to be added in order to access it. So you just wanna check over your process one time and be able to, and just make sure it is working guys, okay? So just a quick overview, you're gonna come into Google Drive, you're gonna upload your document right into Google Drive. From there, by clicking new, once you do that guys, you're gonna go inside your document, hit the top three dots to the top left, and you are going to change the access to your document to anyone with the link, copy that link, and share it out. And from there guys, you're going to be able to share your document across platforms. So guys, if you have any questions, definitely drop them in um, below in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Um, so guys, hopefully this video has helped you um, to be able to understand how to do this. So guys, be blessed and I'll see you soon on the next video.